Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and today I'm going to be playing some Heart of the Swarm, and apparently my opponent for this game is going to be none other than a diamond level Zerg, so it's going to be a Zerg vs Zerg on a custom map of Heart of the Swarm, and to be honest, I have no idea about Heart of the Swarm, I have no clue how to do it, and I barely know the unit, so this is going to be very interesting. Um, this is going to be the first game ever that I play of Heart of the Swarm, and you know... <laughs> I wonder what the strategy in Zerg vs Zerg is going to be, so I think I'm going to open up pretty standard and then I'm gonna try to get at some of those new units. Um, I think the Swarm Host, that, that little guy that actually spawns units, like spawns little locusts, I think I'm gonna try to get that one. I think that's going to be a good one, but first of all, Zerg vs Zerg early game won't be changing that much, so I hope this is going to be any interesting. Um, of course, the, the game will, will change a lot, and for anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, um, Heart of the Swarm is of course going to be the first expansion of StarCraft 2, introducing new units, introducing new mechanics, uh, new maps and whatnot, so this is going to be very interesting. However, right now I'm playing a Zerg vs Zerg on the map Cloud Kingdom. Uh, my very first game of Heart of the Swarm, if you want to play this as well, there's actually a custom game um, in the game itself that you can play and, um, you know, it's going to be fairly interesting. As you can hear by the clicking of my keyboard, this is once again, it's completely live, so if I make any, if I, <laughs> if I make any mistakes like that, sending my overlord back to my main, um, bear with me, it's kind of tough to talk and play at the same time, especially if you don't have like an autopilot to guide you. Because, you know, in a normal StarCraft 2 game, I know pretty much the openers by heart. <laughs> you know, I already played them like a billion times, but I imagine the, the fairly openers in Zerg vs Zerg will be fairly standard. Um, we won't be changing that much. So what I'm going to do is actually open up with a 15 spawning pool, I think, followed up by a 15 hatch trip. And, uh, you know, I don't really know any kind of new kind of build orders. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do in a Heart of the Swarm match. Of course, people will have to figure that out. It will take a while to actually do. Um, however, I don't think it will actually take that long. Players like uh, like uh, TLO, the little one, will actually be uh, be very good once again because he was just so damn good at the start of uh, Wings of Liberty. And you know, so already on the map, I see his second overload moving out. So I know it's not going to be any kind of. Um, it's not going to be any kind of 6 pooling or 7 pooling or 8 pooling, just a standard time second overlord. So what I'm going to do is actually get a 15 gas geyser, get one more drone and get a queen up as soon as I can. Uh, a fairly standard Zerg vs Zerg build in Wings of Liberty of course, but you know, I don't know what's standard in uh, Heart of the Swarm yet. And we probably won't know for like half a year, we probably have no clue what we are doing. It's going to be very interesting actually checking out tournaments like the GSL. Um, because, well, it's just going to be fairly weird how everything is going to go down. It looks like he went for a same, same timed hatchery, so most likely also went for a, um, circling, uh, circling nest first, or circling nest, I don't even know how to say that, a spawning pool first. Yeah, there we go, we, could, we should actually call it just a circling nest. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and get a second queen up right away, also getting one set of circlings just for defense. If all of a sudden it shows up with six circlings and kills my overlord I'll, or kills my queen, I will be a sad girl. A sad boy. Uh, a sad boy. A sad boy. So I'm going to actually um, just continue my game like normal. Um, keeping one drone on gas, however. So I want to I wanna be tacking up to Lair at some point in time. Also getting the circling speed up probably earlier than him. I did a pretty early uh, second or first gas rather. And uh, yeah, should be totally fine. And in Zerg vs Zerg, of course, you see a lot of um, you see a lot of bailing play and, and early game pressure, and that will probably not change because the early games of the Zerg matchup don't seem to have changed at all. So yeah, here we go. Already having one or two Zerglings right there in his base, trying to pick up a drone. Wonder if I can. Uh, doesn't look like it. And as you can see right here, I see him going for a spine crawler so what i will most likely do is go for an early third myself yeah he only just now got a second queen up so that's a relatively late second queen and of course my opponent is diamond level so he i should technically be better than him but you know i uh, <laughs> it's it's hard to swarm i don't know what i'm doing so what i'm going to do is actually get another gas up because i want to get my lair also gonna get one more set of zerklings uh actually put it at his base and there you see him moving out with uh 
with six circling, so I should be more than fine. So I'm gonna get my lair started. I want to get those uh, those swarmo stuff, like I already said. Uh, I probably should go for circling upgrades as well, but you know, it's going to be interesting to develop a timely push like that if you have no clue what's going on and what your opponent can be doing. But we never know, maybe he's gonna go for a really clever kind of push as well himself. And um, in that case, it's going to be fairly tough what's going on. And I have actually no idea how many... Uh, how much... Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need a bailing nest right now. Also gonna get two spine crawlers up. And that is why we suicide circlings, guys. To see that kind of stuff. Uh, did he actually, he's coming already. He's coming already. Gotta put my queens on the on the ramp. Oh god, oh god. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna put anything in there just yet. And I wonder if I will be able to hold. If he has bane links, it will be a lot harder, but... Looks like he's going to give me enough time to actually uh, do a lot of good stuff. So what I'm going to do is actually get the uh, infestation pit up for the swarm host because that's what I need. There we go, he's actually gonna go for... Uh, He's actually gonna go for this. So what I'm gonna do is actually um, morph in a few banelings myself. Quite a few actually. And I'm also counter-attacking. Already having two queens up at this point in time, so I should be I should be pretty fine. Gonna move a few drones into my main. Let's hope they won't be hit. And it looks like I did fairly well. There. And I'm also attacking in his base right now, I should be, so, you know. Oh, it looks like I was attacking that, uh, the uh, <coughs> spine crawler for a while. Oh well. Looks like I managed to defend it, and the swarm host costs 200 minerals and 100 gas, apparently. So I don't actually know if I need to burrow upgrade for those units. So what I'm gonna do... Uh, should I get it? I don't know. I, I, let's, let's not get it, actually. Let's just try and not do it. Uh, so at this point in time, I should be fairly ahead. Uh, he killed a bunch of drones, however, and I need to to get those back. So what I'm gonna do is actually defend with a lot of um, swarm hosts. Let's try that out. And the hotkey apparently is chi to make them. Looks like he's gonna go for a third base as well. Gonna, gonna. Oh, there we go. Okay, so apparently they have burrow by themselves. So I don't really know how to work. Oh my god, there they go. Good shit. Good shit right there. Oh, they oh they also attack range. I didn't know that. Oh my god, they do actually a lot of damage. I killed that overworld like right away. Good stuff. Good stuff. So I'm going to need more and more drones up. Because well I actually wonder how good Swarm Host will be doing in like the later part of a game. Like, will they be able to be that unit that actually defends you against any kind of attack like the uh, like siege tanks do? Or, or, or will, like, how, how quickly will they kill this? Like, oh my god. <laughs> they actually kill that shit so quickly. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be the patented, a uh, patented, uh, Zerg vs. Zerg style of Loco. <laughs> going to be a uh, very hard style to actually copy because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing myself. Looks like he, however, is going for roaches. So what would be the kind of two roaches? Oh, actually I can do a really cool upgrade right here. Increases the lifespan. Ooh. So do you actually need a... Um, do you need a observer or a overseer to to follow or to find these guys? That's, that's what I'm wondering right here. Because are they going to be purely defensive? Or will they actually be really good as well to, uh, to use offensive? Oh well. I guess we will find out sooner than later. Going to get a lot more drones though, I'm really drone starved. Uh, I'm having a bunch right here, having a bunch right here. Also gonna get my hive up relatively soon. And I wonder actually how many of those guys I should get. I think in the end people will most likely end up with getting a bunch of them just for defense. I don't really see how you could use those. Oh, you could leapfrog I guess, just like people are doing right now with siege tanks, but I don't know, it's going to be interesting. So, uh, looks like he is doing some shit. Oh, is that. Oh, that's a changeling? Oh my god, that changeling was looking good. Did I just waste the bailing on that? I don't know. Oh well. Um, looks like he already has a lot of overseers up, so let's just get an overle overseer myself. Um, just in case he goes with Burrow and Fester for some shit. Can I actually make those guys stop spawning? Like. 
I don't know. I don't think so. Oh well. Um, I'm already getting my lair up, or my hive up, rather. And what I could actually try is, um, maybe get a few swarm hosts across the map and, uh, just burrow them right there. So I'm gonna try get a few up right there. Also gonna get a bunch of extra. Just for shits and giggles. And, uh, well, yeah. What is this? Oh, this is actually a change thing. Oh, that was easy to spot. I wonder if they actually would change that for real in the, in the official release of Out of the Storm. So these guys are actually not that slow. They move rather quickly. They feel like there's, they feel like they are quicker than, uh, than, um, uh, oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Oh, he actually, oh my god, he actually, I should be able to, yeah, I think I will be able to actually do this with just Swarm Hose because they are actually, yeah, they, they, oh my god, they do so much damage versus light. That's crazy. It's so, okay, let's, uh, let's continue on. Where's already getting my, uh. Ultralisk Cavern as well as more Zirkling upgrades. Uh, I'm actually gonna save up a little bit. Oh my god, I'm playing so terrible right now. I apologize if I'm playing too terrible, guys. But right now, I'm just trying stuff. So what I'm gonna do is actually rally them right there. So now I should keep those hidden. There we go. So I got like no gas at all, so that's pretty bad by me. Oh well. It's pretty interesting that those guys can actually attack air. That's going to make uh, Mutalist so much less interest. Oh my god, they are right there as well. So let's just <laughs> let's just keep going that way, guys. You go. Oh my god, look how much damage they do, those guys. They do so much damage and I don't have to do anything for this. Yeah, and it looks like they do actually need... Uh, they actually do need those overseers to spot them, so... I think there will be a fairly uh, res based kind of style and it's going to be fairly good. Um, oh my god. Why is he why is he sending so many observers? Why or yeah. As observers now I mean overseers. Oh well, I'm just going to get a uh, ball of uh, of doom up right now. Let's do that. Um, let's also get another macro hatchery because I'm slacking really badly. Let's just get two of them. Also going to keep injecting right here. And yeah, that should be better. Should be better. So since he is going roaches, I should be more than fine with uh, with my ultra Lisk and uh, proper upgrades, upgrades holder. And they they changed a bunch of hotkeys, so it's going to be fairly interesting how my brain is going to adjust to that. Will probably take a little while to actually do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hotkey those guys as two, and I'm gonna move them over to my fort base, because if he's going to push out, he will most likely push out right there. Also gonna spread zerklings all across the map to scout for hidden bases, and uh, on the high ground right here to scout for him moving up. And actually it looks like he is making a base right there, so I'm going to go there as well as start plus three plus three. Uh, oh man, I'm going to be so clever right now. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them up there and actually just, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm actually got sieged. I'm actually gonna put those right there and just make them rally that way. Go. Look at this. Look at, <laughs> look how much damage they do. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit on top of them and you know, this is going to be perfect actually. I take back my words. I think people are going to mess this shit like crazy. Because well, what is going to what is going to st stop me from from killing this kind of shit with, when I get siege tank, right? So what I'm also gonna do is actually run a bunch of those across the map. Okay, there we go. And you actually have to watch out that you don't hold key those. I noticed that just now. Also gonna counter attack a little bit with a few zerklings right there. Um, there we go. <laughs> he actually has them himself right now as well. So I'm gonna need some overseers. And they actually locust on locust. And they actually killed no they actually killed an ultra this. Wow. Would not expect that. So there we go. I can now go in and actually kill this. Okay. So for my first game of Heart of the Swarm, it's going okay-ish. I wouldn't say I'm playing good, but I'm pl not playing that terrible either. Um, since I have no clue what I'm doing, 
I would recommend I do pretty nice. I do pretty decent. I, I do pretty decent, yeah. Oh, actually, I'll oh my god, I'm losing a lot of shit right here. That's pretty terrible. Oh well. You go, guys. Oh, whoa, not that way. Uh, did I actually kill the base? No, I didn't. <sighs> okay, there we go. Guys, we are moving back. We are moving back. What are you doing there? Oh, so our ultralisks. So it looks like I'm uh, I'm maxed again. Also gonna actually move a few drones from my main. Oh, as you can see, I'm playing very terrible, guys. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just just used to doing this kind of shit. So I'm gonna wait for him to engage me on creep. Oh, I actually forgot that the uh, the ultra has got that ability right now. They should be so much stronger right now, actually. Oh my god, I forgot about they actually have that burrow ability. Yeah, charge it's called apparently. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna reinforce with more and more zerklings, and I actually have no idea what's going on right there in that fight. Because I'm not used to this kind of graphics, but it looks like I'm winning. And he GG. So it looks like we won our first game of Heart of the Swarm. Of course, if you want to play this custom map, uh, please go ahead and actually go into the custom game section and look for just uh, H O T S, and you should find this uh, this map. So let's actually check out if they have a uh, victory screen and how I did. Um. I should, I should have done pretty nicely. Oh, actually, they don't have a lot of interesting shit right there. Oh well, just standard, just standard stuff. So yeah, wanna thank you all for watching, have a great day, and hopefully I see you again. Bye!